Y'all, 48 hours after CNN exposed Diddy for doing all the things Cassie accused him of doing to her, Diddy is coming out to apologize for his actions, but word on the street is Cassie is calling BS on the whole apology video. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. We all know this all kicked off late last year when Cassie filed a $30 million lawsuit against Diddy. In the lawsuit, she alleged that Diddy would rough her up from time to time during their 10-year relationship. In the lawsuit, Cassie revealed she tried to leave several times, but he would either threaten not to release her music if she left him, send his employees to lure her back, or he would put hands on her until she was physically unable to leave him. At the time, some people did not believe her, but now that CNN has released the receipts, it's clear what she was saying in the lawsuit was true. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. According to the surveillance footage, the incident went down in 2016 when Diddy and Cassie stayed at the Intercontinental Hotel in Century City, LA. According to Cassie's lawsuit, Diddy had gotten drunk, put hands on her, giving her a black eye, and then fell asleep. Came extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit, prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. Once Cassie thought he was asleep, she packed a few things to get out of the hotel, but Diddy woke up and started yelling at her. She managed to escape the room and walk towards the elevator, but he caught up with her, dragged her to the ground, kicked her before trying to drag her and her things back to the hotel. The complaint goes on to say he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her. At the time, Cassie managed to get away from him and go back to her apartment. Still, according to the lawsuit, after a few hours, she realized that her running away would cause Mr. Combs to be even angrier with her and completely stuck in his vicious cycle of abuse. So she returned to the hotel with the intention of apologizing for running away from her abuser, the complaint claims. But when she returned, hotel security staff urged her to get back into a cab and go to her apartment, which basically meant that they had all seen the security footage showing Diddy roughing her up and throwing things at her. Now the question is, if they had all seen what Diddy did to her that day, why did the footage not come out until now? Well, according to Cassie's lawsuit, the footage disappeared because Diddy paid the Intercontinental Century City Hotel $50,000 for the hallway security footage. But get this, he quickly released a statement to the New York Times, calling Cassie's claims false and accusing her of trying to ruin his reputation all because she was looking for a $30 million payday. Even after he settled the lawsuit, he still kept denying everything. A decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing, his attorney told CNN in a statement at the time. Mr. Combs's decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He is happy they got to a mutual settlement and wishes Ms. Ventura the best. And he didn't stop there. He also took to his Instagram story to deny the allegations against him, sickening, insisting that he did not do any of the things that they're claiming he did and accusing them of trying to assassinate his character and ruin his reputation. But now that CNN has released proof of his actions, Diddy is changing his story. He released a video on his Instagram page apologizing for his actions, but get this, he is also claiming that he was not in a good place when all of those things were happening. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. In his apology video, Diddy claimed that he is disgusted by his actions in the video, but that he is in a better place now and committed to becoming a better man, which was why he went to therapy and rehab to get his issues fixed. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. so sorry, but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. Listen, when I tell you Cassie is not here for his apology, her attorney basically called BS on the whole apology, saying he's only apologizing because he got caught. Combs' most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt, the statement reads. Adding, when Cassie and multiple other women came forward, 
He denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday, that he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false shows his pathetic desperation, and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. And it looks like the fans agree. Like this fan who said, a true narcissist doesn't have the capacity for empathy, like it's literally turned off inside of them. So they literally just imitate what they think empathy is. So what you are seeing is not him being sorry, which is why he never apologizes to her. He is sorry for being exposed and realizing that his facade is being torn down. That is what a narcissist fears the most, being exposed.